You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Beauty and the Beast After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Beauty and the Beast After Show. A beastly welcome to you, Governor. <laughs> welcome to AfterBuzz TV, the Beauty and the Beasts edition. I'm your host, Ali Kona Bradford, with a very terrible English accent, so my apologies to all you British beasties. But I'm here joined by all oh, three of us. Yay! So, I know. Yay. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, everyone. It's Paige Sullivan. Hi, guys. Alex and Greta. I can see you again. <laughs> oh, I know. You should have tweeted out that picture. My oh, goodness, man. this poor guy. His eyes were so inflamed. Yeah, I had an allergic reaction to my dog's fur. What? I had a beastly reaction. How so, is that possible? Yeah. I, he rolled around in something weird. Oh. Oh. So, <laughs> I was going to say, how do you keep your dog? No, right. no, no, no. Oh, okay, good. I've got a beast at home. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. All right. All right, so let's get into the show, guys. Uh, very packed show. I felt like there was a lot of things the whole time I spent the show taking notes because I was like, ooh, that was a good one. Ooh, ooh, trying to remember all these sound bites. So I want to start off by talking about JT and oh, I want to call him Jay Ryan. Wow. Vincent. Vincent, there you go. <laughs> so JT and Vincent, very opening. I feel like JT has changed so much since he's been with Tess. Either that or I feel like the writers are finally giving fans what they want and giving him more time on screen because we see a lot more of him, but it's him happy and just so positive and so just encouraging towards Vincent, whereas before he was so angry. Okay, but before he was very much in hiding. Like, think about True. the situation. You know, he True. was in hiding. He couldn't tell anybody about his best friend. He was living in a warehouse. He had Vincent roaming around with Kat. I mean, he had a lot of stress in his life. Now he really just has Sam, who in reality doesn't really affect JT that much. I mean, it affects Vincent, which affects JT, but, you know, in terms of his livelihood and things, it doesn't matter. But to your point, he's got a lot of wisdom in this episode, right? He yeah. just had, like, just truth bombs left and right. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, i got to get that quote. I'm going to take that home. <laughs> well, that's what a, a sidekick's for, right? It's like yeah. the Batman and Robin situation. You're he's right. Robin. Yeah. You're right. That's, yeah. Like, that's literally what JT, I think, and Tess are for. It's like to bring the main characters down to earth and be like, this is what's going on. Right, right. You but I suck. like that he's so pro be yourself. It's not yeah. even... That was awesome. Beast, this, that, or whatever. He's like, just do it for you and be you right. and quit trying to impress what did Catherine. What he say? He was like, God, he had such a great line about be yourself and you don't have to be one or the other, but you can be both, right? It right. Was just, I mean, it was just wisdom left and right. Basically, just own it. Own it. Own the beast. Own your ish. Own your ish. Your ish. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> All about finding balance. That's what he said. Yes. He had, yeah, he had a lot of good quotes. And then we also have Catherine confessing her dream to Tess, right? Talking about the fact that she was dreaming about Vincent mm -hmm. while she was Gabe. And I feel like Oof. Tess is doing the best friend thing and she knows, she knows that Kat's still into Vince, but she's like, you know what? I'm gonna let you just figure this one out on your own. There's no talking you out of it. You do your thing. But there was a few moments I feel like she giggled to herself or there was a smirk or something. But we know Kat, she's not gonna listen to Tess anyways. We went through it all in season one, her telling her, you know, once she found out about Vincent to not be with Vincent. So I think Tess learned her lesson and she's just lets her Is she a good on. sidekick? Yeah. I think so. Is she which one's the better sidekick? Ah uh, it's a I think if you had to vote. I think Tess. Vote. Because I think JT has put everything on the line, but the difference is Tess has like a life. No offense but, but, to JT. But, but, but as a better sidekick, not like, you know. I, I, I'm going to have to say with JT. Yeah, he's a, a, as a sidekick. Yeah, as but, a sidekick. No, but as, okay, as a sidekick, you want your sidekick to experience life and have life knowledge. JT spent his days in a warehouse, locked up by himself, not dating anyone with no friends. I don't know, man. I want my sidekick to be on it. <laughs> <laughs> I want my sidekick working for me. Yeah, don't, get, don't be his sidekick. He's going to lock you no, in the I'll, basement I'll, and I'll, only I'll let I'll you out. I'll pay you well. Right? I'll pay you well. <laughs> oh, yeah, you better be working. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. 
Dude, so what did you think about the whole Gabe and Catherine situation? Even from the beginning of the show when they're at his apartment. And I don't know, their relationship was weird because they're talking about work things, which I get it. You guys work together. But there's nothing romantic about having your arms around a guy and being like, yeah, I arrest them and you book them. I don't know. It's kind of hot. Really? (laughs) I don't know. I mean, I'm biased, you know. How so? I'm thinking like a woman who can like arrest people is kind of hot, so it kind of doesn't matter what she says so much. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I honestly feel like there there was a connection at one point, but now I'm so turned off by Gabe and his actions. I feel like he's the controlling really? boyfriend. Like, yeah. I feel like she's constantly trying to please him. She's like, oh, I don't want to hurt Gabe's feelings. I don't want to do but that. But it's yeah, but, her fault. Yeah, but in all fairness but, to but Gabe. But he's also asking a hundred questions. It's like, you guys aren't even in a legit re- relationship. He's like, who are you with? Why are you with Vincent? Well, well, how do you end up in the car? She is yeah. hanging yeah, yeah, yeah. out with yeah. her ex-boyfriend all the time. Yeah, I can. I'm sorry, <laughs> I can get that. I can get yeah, that because like, it was my dude, and I'm dating somebody. Even if we're in the beginning stages of our relationship, I feel like they have determined they're in a relationship. You gave her a key. Yeah, that's she a took it. big deal. And then to have, yeah. I mean, I mean, don't I, get me wrong. I'm oh, sorry. I'm gonna say, no, I, no. I, it's not that I feel like. You know, I'm, yeah, Gabe, go Gabe. It's not that. I just feel like stepping into his shoes, I could see where the insecurity could come from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he was he, cool about it. He was yeah. pretty cool about I it, don't actually. I think so. Well, up until, like, towards the end of it, yeah. But, I mean, he did They he did kind of catch him almost making out a little bit. I mean, I got to say. You gotta okay. Kind of stand they up both, for yourself a no, little bit. No, they both almost got blown up. Anybody in that situation, I don't care if it was your uncle, Ali Kona. Like, I would hug them and be like, oh, good yeah. thing we both survived this. I think had Kat not been friends with Vincent prior to her and Gabe getting in a relationship, then he has every right to say, you know what, this is awkward. You know, right. we've entered in this relationship and now you're talking to your ex-boyfriend. That's not what it is. That was a, a relationship that was pre-existing and happening actively while they were entering into a relationship. Yeah, but it hasn't become less active. No, but but you, can you go in, you can't go into a relationship saying, I want to change this about the way they act. I want to change this about the people who they, they hang out with. And if you do go into it like that, you, I'm with you Gabe have to expect on this one. to get hurt. I mean, I'm with Gabe on this. You're right. He he may he may be putting himself up for getting hurt, but he's got to stand up for himself, or else he's just going to get walked on walked over. You know, he's not saying don't do this or don't do that. He's no, asking he is, questions. Though. But he's no. saying don't hang out with Vincent. Like you have to cut him out. Is what he, he is saying that at the end. But I th- I think it's fair. Honestly, I think it's fair game. If he wasn't the ex, if they didn't have that like crazy weird history, I mean, you got to start to wonder. They're hanging out every day. You know, they're like blowing up stuff together. <laughs> yeah, but they even... set me up though. I thought Gabe, I, I really thought Gabe was like standing up. I thought he was going to get the girl, you know? And I was like, you know, I, I'm actually feeling for him. I'm actually feeling for him. And then at the end, bam, they did it to me. They got yeah. me again. They got me again. <laughs> See, I, didn't feel, I hate that. I didn't feel bad because he went behind Kat's back and talked to Vincent and basically guilted Vincent yeah, no, into that not was wrong. spending time with Kat. That part I can agree with. That, that was, was weird. real, that real was weird. shady. But yeah. you know what? That all comes from a place of insecurity. I'm sorry because mm-hmm. if you... You know what? I saw this quote... To, to go off the subject, but stay on the subject. I saw this quote on Instagram. That's your favorite. I know, right? I saw this quote on Instagram. It was one of those cartoon pictures, right? Oh, I don't yeah, know yeah. why I did that. But anyway. The, what e, was... the e-card thing? Yes. Yeah, and it yeah. was, it said Is that something... a mime? A meme? A meme? Well, I don't know. But, but either way, it was something along the lines of this girl saying, ladies, it's not your job to tell... Oh, I can say it. It's not your job to tell hoes that he's your man. It's his job. Yeah. And I was like, that's so true. So true. You should true. be fighting that battle. That's your man's battle. Yeah, you're right. And that right. should even happen. Yeah, that so, was weird of Gabe to do that. So I that was, was like, ooh. And if she, Catherine would have found out, she would have been ticked. Well, it's just like, it's also not a, it's not a powerful move, right? Not at all. You don't go to weak... the guy and be like, hey, man. And try to mind fluff him. <laughs> but but also, yeah. you not only that, but you're basically hitting at what you think will be Vincent's insecurities. You're a beast. Right. You'll never be able to have the relationship she wants. Okay, well, let's stand you two side by side when you were a beast. Who would Kat have picked? Not She you. would have picked Vincent. And if your only redeeming quality is the fact that you are, in fact, a human and only a human... <laughs> That ain't saying much. That's not enough. Yeah, that is a narrow down. That's just not enough. That really does not narrow it down. Yeah, kind of a weak move by Gabe. Very much But at the beginning with the key, you know, I thought thought he was going somewhere with it. And then... But do you guys think it was too soon for a key? Yeah. It was, yeah, it was too soon for a key. I think it's too soon for everything. I think maybe if they had even been 
you know, further into this relationship, I wouldn't be so turned off by his need for her to stop hanging out with Vincent. But the fact that it is so new. How long has it been? I mean, well, we don't know. I mean, can we get a sense of that? Because maybe that'll help inform things. Right. Because right, I feel bit. like this episode and last episode, it wasn't very. It was like days. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the dream if it's only a few and... days, true. But but has it has it been longer? Really? Though? Um, I feel I, like it's been at least a month. I'll give yeah, I'll give them a month since Mexico. Can we say two months? Yeah. No, uh, even if it is two months, I still feel that it's too a key, soon. A key's too early for two months. Yes, definitely. But it's not too early to be like, yo, yo what's with the ex? Why are you still hanging? Are you me or him? Which, what's which with homeboy? Right, yeah. exactly. I think it's fine to ask the question. I just think his actions after asking the question Right. I just feel like Catherine, to me, is blatantly really, really trying, but it's for the wrong reasons, obviously. She likes him, he's a good guy, but she's going with him because she thinks thinks that he is the better choice. And like and like Tess said, the BFF, you know, sidekick, she said, your your dad like messed with your mind. He's basically telling you you're a beast hunter and now you're thinking you're like killing Vincent. And she he also said, I don't want you with beast. So I feel like that's everything in her head's Yeah, but is she predisposed to really listen to her dad? But it seems in this episode made it seem, you know. I don't think she's she did. Pre- I don't think she's predisposed. I would to think she to would do the opposite of whatever her dad said. But he's your like, dad, you know. No matter how much you dislike your parent or like their actions, I still feel like she has a connection to him. Right. Yeah. And their she, connection to their connection is strange, right? Because I didn't expect her to keep coming back and trying to talk to him. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. It's weird because I feel like she knows in his truest heart. He does think he was doing the, what he needed to do for Kat. Right, right. And he wasn't doing it maliciously. Like, he was trying to protect his daughter. But she is a cop, and she knows right from wrong, and she knows what he did was wrong. So it's that weird balance of, you know, this is my father who was doing what he had to do for me while stepping on all of these people. Literally. And crushing them and Literally. killing them. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Do you want us to get a British that character? That actually was pretty good. Was it? Do you the like beginning, that? Eh. But that that was good. I'm just gonna say start that from over there. and over again. Literally. Start literally. from there. Start from That's there. That's the easiest one to yeah, say. I know, right? Every British movie, literally. <laughs> so, literally, going back so. to my topic. Um, oh no! Me bringing that up was just to say when they kiss and when they all that other intimate stuff. I feel like it's there, but it's not. You know what I mean? And there was such a huge difference between that and the simple hug. Even just the hug, right after Gabe saves and not Gabe. Woo! Hello, Vincent. Yeah, Vincent. (laughs) Woo! (laughs) After Vincent saves Xavier, right? Like just the hug. It's not just that. Oh my God! I'm glad you're alive. But she threw her arms yeah, around yeah, him and yeah. it was an embrace like yeah. there was a lot of intent behind there that. was so much chemistry almost like they so could breathe emotion. exactly mm-hmm. like could or the way again. she even said to sam if vincent dies you die right and she's she's dead serious oh, she's yeah. like no 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 so you don't think she she'd do that for gabe i think the words would come out she would mean it but not with the Robotic. same tar- type of it was instantaneous like it, yeah. it just came out of her mouth and she like went she running. straight up shot him I mean, yeah. she missed. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't miss Vincent, though, She's did like, she? Bam. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think al- she kicked his ass. Can I say ass? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you can say ass. You can say ass. I was like, I already said it. <laughs> I just think that she. This is my thing. You know, Vincent's trying to be the better person, and I think in every way he's showing he's better than Gabe in this episode. Right. Mm. Just with his intentions. You know, Gabe is only interested in solving this case and putting Sam away so he can get Kat. Right. And Kat's telling herself, we got to get Sam away so I can forget about Vincent. Vincent's saying, what about Xavier? Exactly. That was my favorite part of this whole yeah, episode. Yeah, you're right. Was you that saw his, his human side. His truest right. intentions. He could care less, like, Sam's a problem, but what's a bigger problem? This is the fact guy, that right. Innocent man is going through this whole horrible ordeal. Right. I think they did a really good job of finding that like beast human balance, right? Because the whole show seemed to be about balance. Mm-hmm. And then unbeknownst to him, Vincent actually went through and found his balance without trying, right? And right. I thought that was just like, doing him. Just it's doing a, him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Doing him is balanced, right? So maybe he has already found that and maybe that's why Kat's coming back and maybe that's why like the universe is kind of opening up for him a little bit. Right. You know? right. He's just right. kind of he's not trying so hard, right? Because when you try too hard you know, things but think get about blown it. up. Yeah. He was brainwashed, right? And then he was under the control of Reynolds for a long time. And so he was never himself. And then that's, he fell right into Tori's point. influence, who was like, you have yeah. to do this and you should do this. And Tori was pressuring him. This is the first time in a long time. And he had the guilt from Tori. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He was just with. bamboozled by her exactly. cookie. And yeah. Her now beastly he, cookie. But now her, <laughs> her cookie. <laughs> <laughs> 
But now he's himself, you know what I mean? <laughs> now he's just Vincent, and he can be Vincent. And yeah. I think that's the difference, and we're seeing old Vincent again. Right, but Finally. what are the odds? Hold on, though. What are the odds, right? He's still, at the beginning of the episode, trying to calm down the beast, right? And then JT finally convinces him to track and to do all this. They find Sam. Sam is just being the sassiest da -dun, yeah. da -dun, ever, right? And the moment Vincent finally is like, you know what, your butthole, and reaches into the cage, here comes Cat. Like, really? Really? Like, is that how you're going to solve things? I'm like, who are you? Who, who is Catherine right now at the beginning and of the this episode? And the way they're like, well, we wouldn't be in this position if it wasn't for you, right. Vincent. Like, well, I find when you slip up, when you're trying to do something, and you slip up even a little bit, it just has a way of, you just get caught. Yeah. <laughs> you know from personal experience. No. This is all, this is all about the show. Just about the show. Yeah. Just about the show. Exactly. Precisely. Oh, poor Vincent. Either way, it, and, and she actually got on my nerves a few times because it almost seemed like she was brainwashed by Gabe at some point. Because yeah, you're the right. There were some Gabe She was so by the book. You know, even when she was talking to Tess and she was like, you know, I'm going to arrest him and Gabe is going to book him. And da -da, Or maybe that was when she was talking to Vincent and he was saying um, the Xavier speech. Yeah. But it was just crazy how by the book oh, yeah, she yeah, was. And she was, was talking Vincent. about justice and, and justice on the streets versus, oh, street justice, excuse me, versus doing it the right way. And when have you ever done it the never, right way? Never, absolutely never. Right. No offense exactly. to Cat, like she's but not a normal detective. But admittedly, going like all vigilante, vigilante has landed her in some hot water. So, you know, there's probably some element of finding her balance in terms of you know everybody's got an inner beast, right? Even Catherine, and she's, I think Gabe is like the very safe choice, but she herself has to go back to finding kind of her sass, right? You know, getting back into that a little bit. But jumping into it, I mean, how many people died? How many things got blown up? How many times did things go wrong for her? Just going like yeah, vigilante on it. But yeah. I also think a lot of it has to, you know, you're saying find her balance and find like who she is. You know, she's trying, for the longest time this season, we were saying, you know, oh, Kat, just be you. You know, just be happy. Just be you. Stop thinking about Vincent. Just focus on you. Focus on you. But I think she stopped, you know, she kept saying, I'm focusing on myself, I'm focusing on myself. But I think she threw herself into this Gabe situation, you know what I mean? Instead right. of actually taking initiative and saying, okay, this is what I want, this is what I need, she was like, well, Gabe's interested, and I, I do like him, and I care about him, and he's a good friend. And then she kind of put her energy towards that and making that her focus. Right. And so she never took the time to just be her cat. Is that just classic rebound? Absolutely. Yeah, but say like, way to be single and figure it out and get to know you. She didn't do. Were you guys any a little disappointed that. in that? Just as women, yeah, in terms yeah. of just like, come on. Kat. Well, because it's so obvious, and the even right. sadder thing is, is that Gabe didn't see it was so obvious, or, or maybe he knew and was just taking advantage of the situation. And Gabe hoping... strikes me as possibly that kind of guy. I mean, he some does. of the moves that he that he did, and he's a little conniving, right? Yeah. And and we know from his previous life as a beast, he he does what he wants to get what he wants. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He was willing to kill Vincent to be a he like a healed beast. And so I really think it doesn't matter the situation to him. If he wants Kat, that's what he's going for. And he doesn't right. really care if it's too soon for her or not. Right. And yeah, that's what I don't like. True. Well, so do you think there's there's no sincerity whatsoever to him saying that you got to do what's best for Kat? Like, do you think none of that is sincere? I think it's a little sincere. Like, I think he cares Ish. about her well-being, but he cares more about the fact that Vincent stays away. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. What I think percentage? he's just using that as leverage. It's a little window of opportunity, and he's mm -hmm. trying to kick that window open and just be like, this is why, because I can't seem to keep her away from you, you so I'm just going to go around to the back door and convince you. Yeah. Like, how bad of a guy do we think he is? Really? I think he has got ill intentions. Generally? Um, I don't know if no, I would not call generally. Them, I wouldn't call them ill. I would call them selfish intentions is what I would say. Yeah, I think, yeah, I agree. He just seems selfish. I think in his work, in his career, he's a good guy. He's got good intentions. When it comes to his personal life and Catherine and this Vincent situation, he's not really on the right track. So let me ask you this. Who's the real beast? Ooh. Ooh. Right, it's like, are you a beast or are you a, a, a human beast? He's right? allegedly the human, right? Saying, like, you're bad for her, but he's the one. Right. That's really acting in a very non-human way. Right. Just think about it. Well, that's yeah, a very human way if you think about it. Well, Humans that's are true. extreme we are extremely selfish. That's true. Speak but... for yourself. Oh please. <laughs> my dog is selfish. <laughs> my dog is yeah, my dog's more selfish than I am. Oh, you know my dog, he's selfish. I do know your dog. All dogs are selfish. He's a little cray. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, 
okay. Like dog, like owner, right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, anyway. Mine are really fat and lazy. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the show. Back to the show. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> no, what I'm kind of dog does Gabe have? Right, right. What kind of dog would Gabe have? A hyena. Is that a real dog? Oh, oh, oh right. Oh. No offense. Good to come back. I really I liked Ooh. Gabe. Like at the yeah. beginning of the season when I thought wow. he was just like with the team. Yeah. And now I feel like he was only with the team to get cat. And so I am just kind of like. But when did this? Uh, when did this attraction to Cat even happen? Yeah, that's right? a good question. Is he in love with her, or is he just the kind of guy that just wants the prize? Yeah. Is he just competitive, and is is it more about competing with Vincent, or is it about him's actual feelings for Cat? I don't know because we haven't heard him vocalize it other than him saying like, "I'll wait for you, I'll wait for you." But you you but you won't really wait for me because you keep asking me if I'm ready. So right. how long can you wait? Like three weeks. Right. In the line at McDonald's, like how long? <laughs> right. Or even when they had that speech towards the end of the show after he caught them doing the huggy thing or the whatever. Huggies. Yeah, and he was just talking about, you know, I don't even remember what he said specifically. And maybe I wrote it down in my notes because I write everything down. But you do do a lot uh, of I do, I do. Lots of oh, he just said, okay, I'm tired of being the <laughs> nice tapping. guy, right? You're he not says, that nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're on, already hold tired? On, hold on. He said, wait, uh, I'm tired of <laughs> Sean, I'm already tired. Okay, sorry. Okay, I'm tired of being the nice guy. Why do you keep ending up in Vincent's arms? And he's saying, I keep bending over backwards, but I need to know, are you with me or are you with him? But I don't so think he's... So again, the ultimatum came back up again. Yeah, but the what has he done? ultimatums are never a good move. No. no. Oh, no. That just pushes people away. Or that when never they, works. Or when they go for whatever you gave them, in the end, they're resentful yeah. and they're, they don't... Exactly. But what it's has he done? Smart. What has he done, though? Do you guys see anything he's done? Let me think Other than save Vincent. Bit. Like, help save Vincent. I mean, he's... He's put, yeah, put up with Vincent. Uh, the trip to Mexico, he was trying to prove something. Well, but the trip to Mexico is just, a, he also he just wanted a lo her alone for the yeah, weekend, yeah. keep her okay. away from Vincent for that. the weekend. So I don't know about that. I think you might be right. I think, I mean, being a DA, you know, I mean, that is a selfless job, right? I mean, to a certain degree, those, I know some DAs, they work extremely hard. It's not a, dip, it's a difficult thing to do. And he is genuinely putting bad guys away. So... I think that so far, in terms of what we see from the show's perspective, that seems to be the only sort of redeeming thing that he's consistently good at. Uh, but yeah, maybe he's just a bad boyfriend. Yeah, I think it's a boyfriend thing because I feel like when he was just on the team, as I saw it, he was very helpful. Like when JT got kidnapped, like he's he's like, okay, let's and get JT. And he's generally honorable in the way yeah. he fights and does things right. Right, right. But, but I think it is It's just the situation with Kat is, you know, he just pushes it too hard. Right, right. Too much pressure. I, too needy. Know, but I want to go back to JT also, too, because mm -hmm. mid-show, there's a scene where he's at the pool place. He runs into mm -hmm. Vincent, right? And basically, to sum up what he says is, dude, what the fluff? Like, you really listen to all of Gabe's crap? You're really letting him manipulate you into thinking mm -hmm. that you don't belong with Catherine or that you should be doing the things that you're doing? Because he's so gung-ho. He's the only one in this show, I feel like, outside of Tess, who's very mild about it. He is the only one who's so pro Vincat right now that's like, you guys wake up. Mm -hmm. and well, that's he's pro his buddy. That's and true. he's pro his buddy finding his true heart and his true passion, right? Right. Yeah. And maybe some of that, that, maybe that's what JT ran into for himself, found his own heart and kind of followed it and like stood up for himself and has seen some of the benefit and he wants his buddy to like be happy as well. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, you know, I just mentioned earlier in this show about how his energy has changed. Do you feel like part of it is the fact that he's got this weight lifted off of his chest that he was truly honest and told Vincent, hey, yeah. you're the oh, reason yeah. why, I, I'm the reason, excuse me, why you're a beast. You know, it's, it's a big oh, secret for him, so he finally let it out. And the fact that Vincent accepted the apology and they're good... Maybe that's why he's just like, yeah, I can go back. Like, we can be our bromance and yeah. it's cool. And I think that has a lot to do with it. Even in the years, mm -hmm. in last season when they're living in that warehouse, I'm sure uh, most days, you know, when he went to sleep at night, he was like, I didn't find the serum today. And this is another day that I well, put him through this. From personal experience, a bromance cannot flourish with guilt. Oh, yeah? Uh -oh. You need to take the guilt out. Uh oh. So a bromance can flourish. Flourishing bromance. Flourishing bromance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about the flourishing Sam this episode who... Oh, he was so good in this. He was like so like... Mean. Evil and good, you know? Yeah. Like he, he plays a great villain. I'm actually really uh, impressed with him as an actor and his ability to kind of play this villain because he's got a lot of depth to that character. 
He seems like he's having a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody says it's fun to play the villain, though. It is yeah. fun to play. I'm more sure so than is. the nice guy. Right, right. You get to express sides of you that are normally not socially acceptable. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, well, on top of that, too, he's not just the villain that's doing bad things, but he's the villain that is smart and strategic about everything that he's mm -hmm. doing. And he seems like this episode, he was constantly one step ahead of everybody else. And he still is. Oh, yeah, he still yeah. is. Absolutely. We so don't know what. are they going to get him? Are we there yet? We're, no, 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 no. He's sorry, the sorry. season's villain. I think he, you know, now that he's we have... He's a great villain. He's going to be the season villain, right. villain I think. I think right. the storyline's probably going to play out close to the end of the season. Yeah. Whether well, it's with Sam or something to do with Sam, the bigger power that he can't get to, uh, this storyline, I think, will be the main villain for the second half of the season. So I think he's got a lot up his sleeve that we don't know about. Absolutely. Well, and like Kat said, it's like how many people, or how many lives are you going for to your, destroy? For one. For, for one. one. For one. And he had even said, interesting twist is how he turned to Gabe and he said, do you have any children? Well, then you don't understand. But here's the thing. I found, you know, you so many people in the world pass away every day, but you hear from a lot of people, you know, they would want us to move on. They would want us to be happy. They would want this. What would your son want? Would your son want you to be doing this? And to be like, your, your mom now is in witness protection. Right. Your father is just killing people on end. I think if Sam were to sit down and just take all that, you know, the facts and lay it out and say, who was my son when he was alive? Would he want any of this? No. But to a certain degree, what makes him a compelling villain is that he's driven by vengeance about something that it's difficult for somebody to judge what that could do to a father. True. Right? So then it's like objectively true, but then you can kind of understand how that would tweak a seemingly normal person and kind of cast him in this like crazy light. And you know what? Do you guys remember what he, how he reacted to Gabe when he was being questioned about like you have no idea these people are above the law, mm -hmm. right? He kind of started to give hints about like the power of the people that he's dealing with. So for all we know, these people really are so above the law that maybe he might even be in the know, right? I mean, that's a possibility. But being in the know does that give you the right to take innocent people, inject them with stuff, and make them your pawns? What if what if the people that are controlling the situation are affecting the lives of millions and he's you know? I mean, good argument. I get saying, that. I get I'm that. Saying. We don't know. I guess I don't know. He he is such a complex individual that I'm having a difficult time understanding his like full objective at any given moment. Right. Every time I feel like I figure the guy out, I'm kinda like Oh, what, what is that? What is that? Yeah, but it is the question of, you know, is one life, you know, worth saving a hundred lives? And you have to, but you have to choose. And the thing is, the problem is here, Sam maybe could be going about this in a very logical way. Like underground, he could still be doing all the shady crap he's doing, but he could be doing it with like-minded individuals that he could, you know, he's smart. He's successful, like successful in what he's doing. Right. He could recruit people who are, want to be a part of what he's doing, just like Muirfield did. You don't have to take some guy chain them up and then turn them into a beast. Right, and use them as a bait. Right, I think there's ways to, if, if there's an end result he's looking for, there are better ways to go about it. Oh, he's definitely loopy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, okay. I'm not saying a man's not a little bit off. <laughs> but we don't know what he's dealing with. Yes. We just don't know what he's dealing with exactly. Right. Like right. The, the details of it all. Yeah. yeah. It was just the tip of the iceberg that made him go crazy. Something cracked. Crazy. Yeah, like something. Crazy. But you hear yeah. that all the time. Something snaps in a person, and they're like 100% a different person. Right. So. Right. I don't know. I just I didn't like the whole situation with Xavier. I felt really bad for the guy. He didn't know what was going on. But I found it yeah. interesting. I don't know if he tweaked whatever the serum or Tori's blood or whatever he's using. But one of the things he had said, well, maybe not. Um, was you are very easy to you are very easy to control basically is what they he told. all are yeah i just caught my own self because yeah. vincent was obviously being controlled by somebody else so never mind. i think it's maybe kind of like <laughs> this sounds awful but like when we we all have dogs in this room like when you have a dog <laughs> but you can train true. you can the train beasts your have do dogs <laughs> no but the beasts are technically the dogs to this they're like owner whoever created them or what not whatever the situation is i feel like you can you can train a dog to do things, and where the beasts have that mentality of being somewhat like an animal, they True. can be trained to do certain things to whoever their loyalty lies. Right. And I think if you're injected by a person, I'm sure when you turn to a beast, it's like, that's my owner, owner. Hmm. which is a screwed up way of thinking, but I feel like that maybe is how it, how it works. But that's such a great analogy. That great makes analogy, so much except sense. that I can't control my dog, as you know. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that rough, is. rough life. Yeah, very. Rough. <laughs> rough, 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 rough. Oh. <laughs> so what about the fact that too though this guy Xavier he did all these things he was near death Vincent such a compelling moment I loved that yes that was a good moment it was amazing because 
not only was he trying to save this person's life, but like I think one of you had mentioned as far as him being more human this episode, Catherine got to witness that. Earlier she walked in on him beasting out. This time she walks in on him and oh, it's Yeah, I didn't even think about yeah, those two and, scenes. And the, now the yeah. contrast. And wow, well done, writers. Yes. And the so. way, but the way Vincent, you know, he keeps going, even though it seems he's gone. You know, like right. it seemed like he was gone, which he was, we find out. Yeah. And we just kind of bring him back, yeah. like we did with Gabe. But Kat's saying, you know, Vincent. Like she's trying to stop him. She's like, Vincent, Vincent. And he like won't give up, which I love to show. It just shows his passion for the doing the right thing. The guy's a doctor, right he's thing. a healer. Right, right. Yeah. exactly. And I think we forget that sometimes too. Yeah. I know I do. <clears throat> but yeah, absolutely. Um, what I was going to say, though, is it's very interesting that Xavier is now a man again. So he's the second beast to be beastified and then unbeastified yeah, what do you guys think about death. Yeah, what do you guys think about that death theory? Coincidence? No, oh, no, I, I don't think, think it's not. a But you know what's not fair about this situation? And I personally feel like for a moment Vincent had mm, like that, not jealousy, but oh, when JT gave him the news that this guy is now a human again, and it's like, well, all last season, all I wanted to do was be human, and at the beginning, well, no, at the beginning of the season, he had amnesia, but last season, all he wanted to do was be human again. How come all these other people can have these near-death experiences, or Gabe? Death experiences. Yeah, death experiences. Death. And then be revived, because <laughs> they tried to do that to Tori's, Tori's father, father, and obviously that was an epic fail. He passed away, mm. but just coincidentally, Xavier survived, right? So I felt like for a moment, Vincent almost contemplated trying it. What about me? Yeah, it, it did seem like they were going in that direction, right? But they degree. didn't. It's a risky no. move, though. I mean... <laughs> well, we know that. Those... We've tried it. I mean, yeah. they've right. tried yeah. it before. I just think if Vincent could just learn to use, which I think he's on the road to, use the beast in him when necessary. Like when in extreme circumstances, when it's absolutely necessary. And think the rest of the time not. Do you think that's what it is, or is it more just like in the day to day, letting some of the beasts kind of be part of him and not? Because I almost feel like what gets him into trouble is trying to control it and use it only for his purpose versus trying to kind of find that balance between the two but sides at one in the point, day to day. Yeah, but at one point it was like, you know, he'd get mad and he'd beast out, or he'd get too emotional and he'd beast out. You know, 10 years down the road, say if him and Kat or whoever are together and they want to have a kid and his kid, you know, makes them mad, he can't beast out. I mean, it has to be one of those things where he will have to control it to be able to function in a normal right. situation. But I think if he suppresses it for too long without letting it out on a regular basis, when he does let it out, how is he going to control it, right? Well, it's just going to be almost Maybe let him let it out, like, with, like, shoveling the driveway, you know? <laughs> yoga? Or, I don't know. Take <laughs> this is just, you boxing, just need more yoga, bud. <laughs> boxing class, open that Wood jar shopping. of salsa. Yeah, whatever. Did you say open a jar of salsa? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Do the do the things people can't do. I would have said salsa dancing. But... No, no. Well, I, I said wood chopping. You said open a jar of salsa. Well, I have difficulty with salsa on occasion, so that's when I would be so. I don't think that's that wow. strange. Really? No. Think about it. Don't you ever have to do the banging and then the upside down tapping? Yeah, but we're talking about a man who just like picks people up by the throat and just like. Chucks him across the floor. Right. I, don't, I don't think I don't think salsa's gonna do it. I'm just this saying, is... utilize your strength in everyday life is all. That's all. Wow. I can't wait till you I get to go open some salsa. I think I just had a, I a, a I mental it. image <laughs> of Vincent like in an apron in the kitchen, fully beasting, <laughs> out, fully beasting out on salsa. That is an amazing visual. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna cry now. I mean, I like salsa. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I had. In Next mind. time you guys have a hard jar of salsa to open, you're gonna think to yourself, "I am." I, I wish am. I was a beast. I wish I was I a beast. <laughs> exactly. Oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah, deep breathing. Okay, okay, okay. So. Where are we at? Where are we at? I want to get to the ending, the good part. I want to get to this. And I. Um, I want to say Were you it expecting coming. it? Yes and no. How about this? Okay, mm -hmm. so when Catherine walked in, first of all, she walked in to go there tell a him. Of all? There is a second Did of all. Did anybody notice how he didn't eat the food? I didn't even know he had food. Okay, so I was like, yeah, he microwaved something and he took it out. And, like, she's talking to him and he's trying really hard not to listen to what she's saying. So he's, like, salting it. He's peppering it. And he, like, cut it. And then he took a bite. And then he walked over the trash and threw it all away. 
Oh, that's a really good detail you noticed. Yeah, because I was focusing on how it seemed like he was trying so hard not to pay attention to what she was saying or trying not to, like, show that wow. he was hurt by it. Mm -hmm. And then he just threw the dinner. He just made away. Like, he took a bite and <laughs> threw it away. Oh, that's so sad. It was sad. He was nervous. He was nervous, and I think he was really trying to, like, internalize his feelings. Like, okay, right. Right. focus right. on the well, steak. Good. Focus right. on good. the steak. I just want you to be happy. I don't need you, boo. I just want you to be happy, boo. No, but he seemed, he seemed sad. He no, seemed he sad. Well, he didn't even look at her, though. I did notice he didn't make a lot of eye contact. His body posture was, was the way. The he was just like... I'm totally over you. Which right. Obviously, well, if you're not. No, I didn't no. read that. I read he that he was, was like upset, but he didn't want to like make her feel bad. Is what I right. saw it as. Like if they connected eyes, which they do, that's when the trouble starts. Exactly. I is just, it trouble? It's the feelings come trouble. flooding back. So exactly. Much trouble. No, but I feel like when he was doing that, it wasn't necessarily. He wasn't trying to hurt her, obviously. It was more so, I'm going to try to do the right thing. Gabe mechanism. was right. Um, he's the better guy. Okay, i got to convince myself. And now I have to convince you, so I'm going to do this. Yeah. And so he spit out whatever it was. And it's funny because this is how life works, right? The girl is so busy trying to be like, hey, I'm trying to let you down easy. And he's like, it's cool. I'm fine. No, but really, I'm so sorry. I'm fine. And the more you do that, the more she's like, but wait, you're supposed to be upset. You're supposed to be hurt. Hold on, what's going on? So now she's intrigued a little bit more to get closer and closer. And Is that, that aloof? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm all good. Not even, yeah, it's just you hard. You work it out. Yeah, hard to get. I'm good. But I think she could read the hurt. <laughs> she had to read the hurt. I'm sure You're she fake. saw it. But I thought she was going to walk away. Like, I thought she was going to leave and then come back. Like, I thought she was going to go to shut the door and then run back in. But you, you, think she read, you think she read the hurt? Well, I guess she must know him pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Vincent normally, you know, when he was at that point when he was a tour and he was like, I don't want Kat, it was very obvious he could really care less about her romantically at that point. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Now I think she reads it differently because now he's, you know, he's not really getting angry. He's not saying anything. He's not being rude. He's not. Well, and she knows too. Just like Gabe said, it's really obvious what you're doing. She knew that he was trying to suppress his beastly side to prove something. Mm -hmm. So that's why she felt so bad being like, look, I'm with Gabe. So you think it was the fact that he was willing to change for her? Is that what women want? A man no. who's willing to change for them? I mean, to an extent. But the fact... <laughs> no, yeah, no. no. <laughs> to an extent. No, I think you want them to already be that person. Like, I think every girl just wants them to genuinely be the person they want them to be and not have to Not like, a work in progress? Them. No, because a work in progress never works. They exactly. always are only changing Ooh, for I you, like that. and that work backfires. Work in progress never works. It doesn't. You, Wisdom. Yeah, you Wisdom. have to go into a relationship knowing everything, not everything about them, but knowing that what you see is what you get. You can't expect, no, 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 in five years, he's going to treat me different. No, 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 he's probably going to treat you the same as he treats you right now because this is who he is. Agreed. But some people are really rough around the edges. You could just polish them up just a little bit. <laughs> no, I think, it, I think there's... Polish, polish, But think about it. You don't have to try and change someone. Most likely, if you're in love and it's a relationship you are both value, you change yourself and you adapt for the person true. you're with. It's, it's less about somebody changing you and more about you wanting to be better. And that's that what true. I think happened with Vincent is that he wanted to be a better person. He genuinely wanted to be a good person. And now Kat's seeing, like, it's not even about me anymore. Right. It's about Vincent. And it's about Vincent wanting to be this person. And, and that's what I see. But what if he just didn't have the tools, right? What if the, like all the desire in the world is there for Vincent, and he wants nothing more in the world than to control the beast inside him, but he just lacks the tools, and the guy just needs a little bit of help. So maybe not so much polish, right? but more just like, hey, help me with some tools I think that's so I can fine. get to this other if there's, thing. If there's effort and desire on his part, you yeah. know, if he's saying, this is what I want, this is how I think I can get there, is there a way we could like... You just need a plan? Yeah. Is, that, is that good enough for mm -hmm. you yeah. to make a plan? But yeah. the plan needs to definitely be an action, not just like, hey, <laughs> I have plan. Like I would, I plan not to kill anybody when I'm a beast. Like right. that can't be your plan. You have to be like, I'm going to actively do these things so that I don't do this. A roadmap. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. In any relationship, like your work, Gentlemen, relationships, everything. It's a roadmap. Exactly. Yeah. That we designed. action. <laughs> Yeah. That we, that we, paved, road we paved the road. We give you the map. Right. No. Wow. No. Wow. Yeah. So going back to this luscious moment, right? Luscious. Yes. So going to this moment, when Vincent's talking and Catherine's getting closer, first of all, I knew, I knew, okay, that's my second of all. Second of all, <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Be yeah, because of the way she was looking at him in the eyes, like they were, her eyes were darting back and forth, mm -hmm. up and down, just looking at him, almost waiting for the okay to come closer, and he was doing the same. And as soon as they got like this close, it was like magnets. And then they stopped, and they were both like, 
Should we? Yes, we should. Yes, uh-huh. we, we <laughs> definitely pick you should. Up. I'm going to pick you up and take you to the bed right now. Should we? How A to we the not? men. So where does this go? Go uh, to the bedroom, it, presumably. Well, that too, but... I kind of almost hope it didn't. Like, I hope it was just like a passionate kiss because sometimes that's that more they important. they did laying down. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> you know, they've already... Done that. Done that. So I don't. It's not know. like uncharted territory where it's, it's just, new and you have no. to be reserved. No, just, no, I know. But you, you think that. about it like, okay, when you have lost like a boyfriend or whatever, or like in a bad breakup, because they uh, they were basically ripped from each other. They weren't. They didn't want to break up. The first thing you want to do when you get back with them, you're not like, I want to have sex. It's like I just want to be with this person. I think. Skirt. Hold on. Okay. Not that I've been in this situation. I don't think it's a. I just want to have sex with you. I think it's, I want to make love to you. Like, now that I know that things are okay and I've missed you for so long, like, everything about you, I just want to be intimate with you and just feel you. Like, mind, body, and soul, I just want to feel you and be with you again. Well, you want to be with that person in the way that you remember them. That's true, too. So, you know, whatever that essence of sharing of space is, you know, then I think that's where you want to be because you want to be back in that place. Yeah, but majority of their relationship, like, for a very long time, they weren't doing right. that. Right, right. So, and it, it, they only had that short period of time where they were, and then this period where he, you know, he was taken away, and now it's been this a long time. So, did they go to the bedroom and cuddle? I was going to say, are we going to call it second base? Like, no, where no, are we no. Yeah, where are we going? No, I'm not, no, but I'm not <laughs> saying. Because that's a good point. No, know? sometimes I just think, like, you know, a passionate kiss says more about what a person's intentions are. I agree with that. I agree with that. agree with that. That's all. That's true. So, I don't know. For me, the kiss was enough. Like, it just if it just stopped there, I would have been fine. But, like, that shows their But that feelings. also leaves it kind of ambiguous to a certain degree in terms of, like, us as viewers as to what's going on in the relationship, right? Because it might be a point that the writers wanted to make. Like, look, guys, this isn't just like, oh, we kissed. Oh, snap. Next episode, that was a mistake. She's going back to Gabe. I think they wanted to make it clear this is a complete reconciliation. But sex doesn't mean a reconciliation to me. To me, it means there's... Like he had with Tori, there's a primal instinct. He has this attraction that has always been there with Kat. No matter what, they're drawn to each other. It's this thing. Yeah, they but it can't means she stop. won't go back to Gabe. I don't think so either. Once it means she. Feel, once it means she won't go that, back to Gabe. Once you feel that again, and then try to go back to the person you're with now, and you don't have that type of chemistry, it's like. Yeah, I mean, I after a kiss, she might have been able to go back and no, explain it. No, I don't think she can go back anyways. But like, now, no but now what. this, yeah. it's... I mean, she went to go break up. I mean, not break up with him, but she went to go put an end to that. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> and in a weird way, Gabe actually forced that, ironically right. enough. Right, you know, exactly. Karma, the karma bit him in the ass. Yeah. Also made him push people into the arms of other people. You're or like other I can say ass, right? That was yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Did you want to say again? Yeah, ass. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Good. There was. Good. There was. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're okay. good. We're good. We got it well, out. Well, since we're good, I think it's about that time. Let's get into some news and gossip. All right. TV news. So this lovely evening. Oh God, the accent. Yeah, it's pretty bad. No. I'm just <laughs> Naturally bad. Naturally bad. bad. Thank you. Thank you. So I have some news and gossip. We have some lovely photos. Uh, when they pull up, my engineer will let me know. Until then, I will just talk. Oh, okay, they're already up. So I pulled up this photo. This is random. Some of my photos do actually have meaning. This one in particular, I just thought was weird because he looks just like Johnny Depp. Does anybody yeah, else does. see that? Really bizarre. And so I just had to. Yeah. Even with the pinky ring, I was like, whoa, pirates. I don't like pinky rings. I like either. pirates. I love pirates. I don't like pinky yeah. rings. Not a fan. But, but he does. He looks a lot like Johnny Depp. Crazy. Very strange. Let's go on to the next picture. I thought this was hell. Arius, has anybody seen Frozen in this room? No, but no. I've seen the characters, yes. so yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Marissa seen it. Really does look like Jay Ryan. What is his name in this movie? Marissa. I forget. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I was like, his name is not Marissa. And the only <laughs> the only name I know from that movie is Olaf, and yeah, I think that's, that's a snowman. Ol- yeah, it is I'm a pretty snowman. sure it's a it snowman. Is snowman. <laughs> Either way, I just think it's adorable and funny all at the same time. It is. And so in the next one, I just thought this was funny. Is this what you were telling yes, us? No. It, no it's the, if, if you guys are listening to the, um, excuse me, the podcast, you can always uh, watch us really on, funny. yeah. On YouTube for on, these. But it's a lady in an apron and she says, I don't feel like doing anything today. Wait, yeah, no, today I don't feel like doing anything except J. Ryan. I'll do J. Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's a good one. That's productive. Yeah. Productive. <laughs> Next. Oh, is that Gabe? Yeah, so this was Gabe last season. I don't know why he looks like he has a ponytail. I, I feel like somebody's standing behind him. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a pony. Okay, so you're right. Either <laughs> way, he's got these gnarly looking 
contacts. Yeah, why are you, how are you paying attention to that little ponytail? You, <laughs> <laughs> like, really? There's more That's important where the eye is going. The eye is okay, going. if your guy's got a rat tail, I'm more concerned with that than the eyes. Exactly. Okay? <laughs> it's, 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 let's handle oh, the rat yeah. tail first. Yeah, he's got like a sideways pony harsh, going on right harsh, now. Harsh. Yeah. So, but, uh, you know, those are pretty lovely brows. I would, I would maintain a little bit, but those are lovely brows. And, the, yeah, the contacts are pretty crazy looking so i had to and this was on his pinterest oh huh. yeah so let's move you on you found him on pinterest i did huh. this next picture staying with the theme of sand hill he has a beastie mug too oh we all Paige have, and I have beastie mugs he's got a beastie mug why don't i have a beastie mug? you weren't here yeah boo on you should have got here first season man i want Oops. a beastie mug so <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow I, I like this picture um, the wrap on his head is quite interesting but i'm not mad at it He's a handsome gentleman. I he can is handle handsome. It. Right? He's very handsome. Right? Very much so. He's, He's got a, a great smile. I He's mean, a handsome yes. man. Uh, yes. He is. Very, very masculine. I know that's a weird way of describing somebody because he is a man, but just very manly. Yeah, I see that, but like it's just he's just sharp, you know, like he's just great word. everything about him. I'm like, huh. Yes. You. Moving on, not so sharp. I have no idea what this picture is about. I know it's from last year sometime ish maybe last season but either way it's austin basis with a pregnant lady suit that makes perfect sense to me actually yeah does it mm -hmm. and then sent hill rubbing rub the ballet oh yeah, yeah i don't know i'm okay. not sure what's going on <laughs> i think i'm just I, as confused okay. as, as austin's face i totally picture. get it you get it perfect. okay i'm gonna tweet it you wear those i'm gonna tweet the explanation so going to my next picture i am not 110 percent sure prince hans Prince Hans. Oh, the character. Thank you. Thank you. Is that Matt Damon? Casey. I mean, no. Mark Wahlberg? No, no, wow. No. It looks like him. <laughs> no, it does not whatsoever. From the what side, that's his nose. <laughs> no. What are you like, about? Judging by his left <laughs> eyelash, I'm pretty sure You're that's Mark so Wahlberg. Wrong. I said his oh nose God. looks like it. Look at his nose. His nose? I mean, you could the pick... The Boston's pick, coming uh, out? You could pick any part. You so, know, his finger looks podcast like Podcast people, you know, my apologies about? again. More pictures. But this, I think... Here's the thing. I, I This was under the title of Kristen Crook, and she's singing, right? But I don't know if this is really her or a girl that just looks a lot like her with her nose scrunched. No, and this is actually her that. in the movie Eurotrip. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, high five from done. a distance. And, and definitely not Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Not, no, no, I, I meant Matt Damon, but Matt. Oh. No, no, she's changing her <laughs> answer. I said Matt Damon first, and then I said Mark Wahlberg because I never know which one's which. But <laughs> I meant Matt Damon because I just watched Good Bull Hunting, Actually, that and that look looks like, like Matt, like Matt yeah, Damon yeah, okay. from okay. the I, I will give you that. A little bit of that. I'm pretty sure that. they're singing the song Scotty Doesn't Know. Scotty Doesn't Know. Oh, yeah. good song. I don't know that. You guys don't know that song? Me either. Oh, well, I can't. Boston. It's, it's not. No, it's thing. not a Boston thing. It's from the movie. Oh. From the, the movie. movie. <laughs> I lived in Boston. Actually, <laughs> Did you? Boston. Yeah. yeah. We don't sing that there. What? <laughs> okay. So next picture, please. Okay. This is just to talk about. This is two episodes from now, and I always like to do little pictures of sneak peek. This is the last picture that we have. I won't get into predictions just yet, but Why I not? just wanted to do a sneak peek. Well, I mean, if you want. No, no, no. I don't want to go there yet. So just. Hold this picture in your mind until we Can't. start talking I'm about predictions. I'm too excited. I'm too excited but about predictions. let me talk a little bit about some news. Okay, so we all know that season three, I will adjust myself to the front. We all know that season three is on the edge. We're not quite sure what's going on. So in order to push the decision push. again, once more, the BCs have gotten together and decided to start a new campaign. So last year, we all remember that we did the book where we said... How Brave Is Your Love, sent it over to the lovely Mark Pedowitz. Well, guess what, Mark? You are going to get a lot of mail because the BCs are now sending roses. Wow. So if you guys remember from the cartoon, also Beauty and the Beast, there was that rose, yeah. the eternal rose where the petals were falling off. So this time we are all sending him roses. It can be a paper rose. It can be a real one, a fake one, a, a drawn one. But yeah, we are all doing that. So let me just give you, uh, you can catch... If you go online, there is a lovely video that some of our beasties had made, and it talks about the purpose, which we all know why. But just in case, I'll give you the address. It is 3300 West Olive Avenue, Burbank, California. Write it down. 91505. So Once one more time. 3300 West Olive Avenue, Burbank, California. 91505. And the gentleman's name is Mark Pedowitz. This is going to the CW Network. So just so you guys know. I drive by there every day. I know it's, it's crazy. Right, it's it's right crazy. It's down the street. Yeah. Let's go drop off some roses. I want to no like problem. drive by and see a pile of roses on the sidewalk. That would be amazing. Not on the sidewalk, but you know, 
you overflowing. Know, and I want to say this, talking about ratings, this blows my mind, right? Because BCs are so dedicated, but I was looking at the ratings for the CW, and I want to say they had a list of their top 12 shows, and Beauty and the Beast is number 10. But the ironic thing about it is that it's down 51.41% in viewing. And then since last year, it's down 51.27% in wow. viewing. And I'm wondering, where are they getting these numbers from? Because, no, I I, I know there's a loyal loyal BCs out there, but there were those people, you know, first season. Everybody tunes in for a first season, and then they make that decision whether they're staying or not come right. second season. And I right. think this second season took a huge turn. Yeah, I honestly, and when well, it, it could first have picked started, up more viewers that are not necessarily being picked up by the Nielsen ratings, if that's where you're going. Yeah, by. yeah, I, I feel like it's because a lot of stuff is internet. There's so many international BCs out there that possibly it's just not getting. They got to they got to revamp that system. I think it doesn't accurately. But reflect if you but it. if you think it's inaccurate for this show, it's probably inaccurate for all yeah, the shows. So in comparison to you know where it is yeah. on the on the chart. So basically, no one knows. <laughs> yeah. So just send your roses. So basically, basically it's random. So send the roses. All right. So now that we've gotten all that out of the way, let's get into our predictions. I love predictions. And, and you know what? Actually, that wasn't um, Frozen, though. It was Flynn Rider from Tangled. Oh! oh! That's what threw me off. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure that's You're not right. Movie. Too bad. But I love Tangled. And now, your After oh. Buzz TV. Someone sent me a picture. Did they? Well, they might have sent it to all of us. Jenny Hart's BATV of Kat waking up very shocked in bed with Jay Ryan. Oh. Well, not, uh -oh, well, not uh -oh. Jay Ryan, Vincent. So, I mean, I guess my prediction of them keeping their clothes on was, was wrong. wrong. Wah, wah. It was a nice thought. That's okay. It was very romantic. I mean, I don't hate it. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> it was just something I threw out there. <laughs> Okay, wait, hold on. Are you raising your hand? Is yes, I'm doing? raising my hand, because guess what, okay? Alex? Guess what? What? We totally got told by Paige. Why? What? Because I just got a even tweet. I'm... Ooh, I got, I told you. Uh, <laughs> you don't even know what you told us yeah, yet. Yeah, you, 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 can't, you can't talk smack until you know. <laughs> okay. I told you. you okay, can't. tell me. Just hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, uh, and if you're wrong, this is, this is all Gene CL's fault, at Gene CL. Uh, that is Matt Damon. <laughs> No, we it is? With, yeah. We agreed with that. Oh, she so said, you said, oh, I could see that. No, yeah, it's a, it yeah. is not. Yeah. She says, Kristen is awesome slutty in that movie. Okay. That's terrific. Guys, I know my Boston people. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, that's do. hilarious. All right. Okay, so we got told. But anyway, she said <laughs> Mark Wahlberg topic. first. No, anyway. I said Matt Damon, and then I went, uh... But well, I, yeah, I Mar yeah the Mark Wahlberg thing. Yeah, that was wrong. Okay. We'll give it to you. We'll give yeah, it to yeah. you. That was wrong. That was wrong. So anyways, going into predictions... You guys remember that picture? Any predictions off of that? I think that, it's just going to be messy. Going I just think it's going to be messy. I think Kat's going to have to decide. How do you go and tell Gabe, like, oh, so I went. Oh, my god. No, you don't. But you no, don't. No, but here's the thing. She's waking up in bed in this picture. What, what looks like she's waking up in bed, meaning she stayed the night, meaning she didn't go back to Gabe's. She didn't use that key. But we know how misleading these previews can be, right? That doesn't mean that she slept with him that night. She could have went home, broken up with Gabe, and then went back and slept with him. I don't no, know. No, I think that's, that is... She picked him up. I mean, he picked her up. I mean, that is kind of a brownie point right there. Yeah, you know? I don't know. I, I see that being very messy, and I see Sam devising a plan. Is he, like, turning himself into a beast? Like, what is he doing? Right? Wait, hold on. Why were we watching the show? <laughs> Alex and I had a bit of a miscommunication, right? Because he's in the jail cell, and he's throwing up the pill, right? And I thought Alex had said something about him putting it up his butt. I was like, dude. It doesn't come up the other end. No, it, you can't make it go that. No, it, that, <laughs> it doesn't that reverse. Direction. I'm not dumb. I know that you, that doesn't happen, but I was like, I would have thought he would have put it up his butt because isn't that what people you do in jail? Yeah, because it's actually much harder, to, I think, to throw something Thank up. Thank you. I, okay. No, I, I, I see where you were going with that. Not that I've ever done either. <laughs> right. But I would assume it's harder to, to throw right. it up. Right. Okay. Well, there was some sense. There was some sense. Least... I mean, all disgusting. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all disgusting. Whoa. We all agree. Calm down. Calm down. Water is going fly. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we have until next episode to figure that out, so we can keep talking about this conversation via Twitter. If you guys want to leave your Twitter handles, yes, you can follow me at Paige Cell on Twitter and Instagram, and follow me at Alex Angarita. And you can follow me at Kiss My Passport. You can also find me on my website. It's AliConaBradford.wix. W I X. Dot com backslash television host. Until then, have a fabulous evening, and we will see you next week. Good Bye. night. Adios. Executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. 
to watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later, Alex Sucks. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.